get a priest, son, aren't you? You, get away from me, understand? You don't remember me, do you? That's the one tried to help you. What? That's the one tried to help you when the natives took you. Oh, that was you? Yeah. Thought you was killed. <laughs> They just locked me up, you know that? This long. But I kept trying to escape, you know? They had on time for that. So what are you doing back here? Guess I missed the place. <laughs> <laughs> Barry boys. <laughs> Five points. Paradise Square. Streets here are always lively of an evening. Who are the gangs around now? We got the Daybreak Boys and the Swamp Angels. They work the river looting ships. The frog hollow Shanghai sailors down around the bloody angle. Sure tales was rough for a while, but they become a bunch of jack rolling dandies, lolling around murderers alley looking like Chinamen. Hellcat Maggie, she tried to open her own grog shop. But she drunk up all her own liquor and got thrown out on the street. Beautiful. Now she's on the lay for anything. There's a plug uglies, they're from somewhere deep in the old country. Got their own language, no one understands what they're saying. They love to fight the cops. And the night walkers, the rag pickers were all. Uh, they work on their backs and kill with their hands. They're so scurvy under the plug uglies to talk to them. But who knows what they're saying? The slaughterhousers and the Broadway twisters. They're a fine bunch of bingo boys. And the little 40 thieves. I used to run with them for a while, until they got took over by Bendrick the Cockroach and his red-eyed buggers. Bendrick carries a germ. If you try to leave the gang, they say he hacks up blood on you. The lime juices are nothing but a bunch of rapacious grab-ups. The true blue Americans call themselves a gang, but all they really do is stand around on corners of England. Did any of them got the sand of the dead rabbits? You don't say that name. That name died with you. They've been outlawed. When I was in the blockhouse, the chinks told me that the natives celebrate their victory every year. Is that true? Aye, that they do. And it's quite the affair. The butcher himself's got to invite you or you don't go. Go in, Johnny. You look stunned and poorly, sir. Quite a pair of conversationists, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe not. Or deep thinkers. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I leave you in the grace and favor of the Lord. <laughs>